The floodgates open, but nothing's happening. Have a bite of this. Want to lift the curse? Said the Sim. Last you were here. Relax. This is different. This will work. Better be true or I'll rap you. Tread you. What? What did you do? That was your own flesh. As far as I know, Curse doesn't allow for that. Or oh, son, you tracked me, deceiver! Hardly. Wanted me to lift the curse? Well, you're welcome.
Freya, hear my prayer. Freya, grant my plea. You who grant... Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Gloids obscure the sky and turn you who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Freya. Freya, grant my plea. This is a terrible cross we in. You and the sorceress both. What'd you do to them? We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yar. Yeah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I say something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Remember in that bay? I like it where yesterday. Offcom fell overboard and near drowned. Little Rick dove in the way. Stop 
you're hollering. What is it you wish? of kings. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Only worthless fucking sailors. Could it be true? Well, what is it? Such thing as bad ships or bad uh -oh. weather. Only worthless like it here. sailors. We Freya to thank for sending you our way. Killed a giant Scared sure, me the giant ship. Scared me shit. about yeah. seducing the lasses. <laughs> I recognize your type a mile away. Vagrant. I'm a tad busy. step. Seeker. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. for months, then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveller, hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her, or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bergthora and Eirik. Who are Bergthora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Big Thora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. Now here's a manly one. Not like my good for nothing Sven. Full and were eaten by trolls. I'll be a priestess when I grow up. Do one of the stinky shit that I do. That hurt? Ah, if oh, only oh, Sven should be a hero like that. Uh-oh. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. 
<laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken, but village is brimming with lovely girls. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing? Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honourable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, to other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. like foreign folk around here. Damn, you're ugly. Fucking you, Dabber! Swarming like gulls around the waist heap. Bye, be sure we showed them. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? What, need I march around the country singing in your praises? No, just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils, but that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. Where's Ceres? Tell me. She asked about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home, yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell.
he wanted. Gonna kill the Kickasmores. Seriously wrong here. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Saris. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Crocs worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brokvar, the ancestral sword of Udlerik's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udlerik. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udlerik and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udlerik. But his father gave Brockfart to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udlerik to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udlerik to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udlerik had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udlerik kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udlerik right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, 
Folk have said Udalric's the chosen one, the one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here. We'll go together.
what is this about? The sword? I found it. Let's go. After you then. You and my dad, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease. The calm and the quiet. I battled in worse weather than this. Did a spot of But you... Now here's a family one. Not like my good for nothing, Sven. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean? Let me. Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Olyla's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. <laughs> 